Hi there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Well, as we head through the evening and overnight hours, we will be tracking mostly cloudy skies, and there will possibly be a few passing showers out there. Not a huge deal. Things will be dry by the time you get to tomorrow morning. Now, as we head through your Wednesday, we'll have partly sunny skies along with a brisk southwest breeze. So that is going to boost temperatures into the low, possibly even mid 80s through the afternoon. A record high for tomorrow is 81. So I'd say there's a pretty good chance we are going to break that record. Now, here we go towards 5. Five o'clock. We may see a couple stray showers around five o'clock, but the bulk of the showers and storms we are tracking with this cold front won't arrive until after seven o'clock in the evening. And you can see this line that'll initially start off to the north and west. So if you live in Surrey, Sussex County, James City County, Williamsburg, Gloucester, Matthews County, you guys will be the first ones to actually see these showers and storms. And this line will actually track off to the south and east. So northeast North Carolina, you guys will be the last ones to see these showers and storms. But they will be gone by the time you get to Thursday morning. Thursday. We're looking at lots of sunshine and cooler conditions in the wake of this frontal boundary. But with these uh, showers and storms, we do have to talk about the potential for some isolated, strong to severe thunderstorms. You can see the Storm Prediction Center has placed our entire viewing area under a slight risk for the possibility of some severe weather. Now, the primary threat here would be some strong, potentially damaging winds, but we wouldn't even completely rule out the possibility of some hail and maybe even a weak tornado. That's definitely something we have to keep an eye open for, but we'll say the best chance of seeing any tornadoes would be farther off to the west side towards the Tennessee Valley and the Ohio River Valley. Mostly cloudy with just a few showers tonight, temperatures dipping down into the mid-60s, and then tomorrow partly sunny with the storms developing after 7 o'clock, but not before we make a run for the low to mid-80s. Behind that front, as I said, things will cool down on Thursday, 60 degrees there, mid-50s on Friday, and then sure enough, winter returns on Saturday with highs in the upper 40s.